All right, hey YouTube. Uh, this is an unboxing video of my Canik TP9 V2. And this is everything that comes with. This is your little plastic case here. It's got a decent case and you got your molded interior. You got your instruction manual, which is has some color pictures in it. It's kind of small, but uh, not a bad little manual. Of course, you got your lock. And this little info that was wrapped around the trigger guard. This is the uh, tool for knocking out the pin on the back strap. There are two back straps, a large and a medium. And I got some packing material stuff, some safety stuff, limited lifetime warranty. And then here is the firearm. You have your load assist tool. Larger back strap, second magazine, first magazine's right there. Comes with this Serpa like holster. It's got good retention, I think. I've heard people say things about it like it's cheap or whatever. You know, it seems pretty solid to me. Uh, it's definitely thicker or as thick as any leather holster I've ever used. Plus, you got the retention with the. Uh, lever right there for your finger and you have different uh, styles different ways to carry it, you got your paddle and uh, let's see, I believe it would go like that and then you can adjust it for cant and height and then you have a belt one same deal and you can adjust the for the width of the belt two different adjusters there for your belt and you have your cleaning tool and bore rod bore brush and a patch tool excuse me and the pistol itself uh, I have not fired this yet I will tomorrow and post videos of that uh, I've never owned a single action version of these this is my first Kinnick. Uh, I like what I've seen about it, like what I read about it. And what with shipping and transfer fee and all that, I paid $404 for all of this, which I think is a pretty good deal. And we'll see how it works out for me tomorrow. You got your uh, standard Pictini rail. You have a decocker up here. It's made out of polymer. Sights are three dot with the uh, little dot, or the little dash there that you can uh, dot the eye sort of on the, with the front sight there. I kind of like just that arrangement like uh, I've seen on car pistols, but we'll see how this works for me tomorrow. This is single action, double action, so just to show you, the pistol is clear, no magazine in it. With the uh, first pull, you have a long, long trigger pull. It's not bad, I think. Don't have a scale or anything like that. And then uh, you also see there's a striker indicator there. There's no loaded chamber indicator on top, but pistol striker is cocked, and that little red dot will let you, see, let you notice that. Now, once it's in single action mode, you can actually stage the trigger with very little effort. So it's sort of half cocked there. And a very crisp and light single action pull. The reset is very, very short. Right there. Not even, yeah, maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a little more. Um, the magazine release is reversible, I believe. I'd have to read the manual on that. Uh, takedown's really simple. Like, more simple than a Glock, actually. So, make sure, yeah. You can see the notch in the front in the slide right there. So you just want to get these takedown levers 
more or less lined up in there or at least lined up on that side. There's two levers push them down comes right off. I think with a little less effort than say on the Glock 19 I had since the Glock levers are really thin you really gotta kinda of bear down on them. These you don't need as much pressure and you have captive recoil spring allegedly cold hammer forged barrel a lot of oil on it. I don't know if I'll clean this before I'll shoot it maybe not uh, let's see what else can I tell you about it oh I was experimenting with the uh, removing the back strap looks like the guide rod is polymer and um, so I tapped this bad boy out with that pin there and uh, the only instructions that they have that come with the pin uh, they have it in English changing the rear grip panel it just says use the included tool we'll tap out the roll pin holding the rear grip panel in place taking care not to lose the pin oh yeah that's probably a good idea use the tool and pin to secure the desired grip or rear grip panel and then of course it's also in Turkish if you read Turkish but they don't tell you what they don't tell you is that getting this sucker out is a real pain in the butt um, so after you tap the pin out this thing just doesn't slide out or fall out and I was like thinking to myself okay how am I going to get this out so I tried maybe getting a screwdriver in here and with very little pressure on it I actually started to ding up put a little divot right there in the back strap where I guess you can secure a lanyard through there on the other side of the roller pin if you're into that kind of thing um, so I was scratching my head wondering okay how am I going to get this out without damaging it and then I looked down in here in the magazine well and you can see on the back of this back strap these two little tabs that pop, pop into place in there I can't really see it in this light very well anyway so I got a screwdriver down in there and I just pushed on one of these tabs to pop this guy out so it's a little problematic to get that uh, grip panel as they call it in and out but yeah you're gonna wanna get a screwdriver in there down in the magazine well and push on one of these tabs and it should pop out so that's a little something I discovered that might be helpful for somebody hopefully and of course assembly reassembly Just slide it up there you go so the uh, decocker here is ambidextrous yeah, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. I don't think I've done that yet. I can do it with my right. Let's see if I can do it with my left. <laughs> wow, really? Okay. Apparently I'm really weak in my left hand. Of course I've broken that arm too many times. Um, personally, as far as decocking it goes, I just use my weak hand. Reach over. Rather than try and adjust my grip on the pistol. Then I'm, you know moving the barrel all around don't necessarily want to do that with a round in the chamber so yeah that is uh, my unboxing video the Kenick TP9 V2 by Century Arms um, kinda got lots of words on the slide and frame not a big fan of that but all in all I think it's an attractive pistol it says over here uh, uh, fires without magazine well that's good to know right there and Canic TP9 by Century Arms um, what else can I tell you about it 9 by 19 TP9 Canic by Century Arms serial numbers frame and slide or frame and barrel or slide and barrel in Turkey and of course the warning read safety manual read safety manual made in Turkey yeah and you got your uh, grooves in here anti-glare I don't know it fits my hand pretty good with the uh, regular medium sized back strap um, I can compare it as far as width goes to uh, another pistol I've heard it was I've heard it's comparable to a Glock 19 I used to have a Glock 19 but not anymore however I do have a commander size 1911 and uh, 
They're pretty much the same size. Of course, width. Obviously, the double stack 9 is wider. But not including the beaver tail. I'd say uh, from the front to the barrel to the <clears throat> rear of the hand, uh, hammer there on the 1911, they're the same length. And essentially the same height without a magazine in it. I don't know if you can tell from this angle. Yeah, they're essentially the same height. But obviously the width a little wider on the 9. But uh, yeah. So, we taking that these two guys to the range tomorrow. Do another video on that. And um, that's all I got for now. So, oh, maybe I'll do a video of the holster after I put one of these contraptions on there. Practice with it a bit, see how it works for me on my belt and so forth. I don't know, I mean, I've, from what I've heard, Canik uses ISO 9000 standards, which is what NATO wants them to do as far as any factory that produces firearms for countries in NATO. And Canik is definitely one of those. We'll see how it uh, fares manana. I don't know, I kind of like this. feels just as solid as the Serpa holster I had for a USP-40 I used to own. Alrighty, well, again, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like it, subscribe. If not, don't. Have a good day.